A train travels across the water meadows of the Arran Valley on its early morning commute to London as I wait patiently for the early morning mists to burn away. Suddenly, out of the mist appears Arundel Castle, with the River Arran meandering in front of it. The castle is the home of the Duke of Norfolk, England's premier Duke and Earl Marshal. This particular morning, I travel into Arundel, past the castle's main entrance, and a long mill road with this avenue of lime trees. Their leaves just starting to change to their autumnal colours. I stop momentarily by the castle moat that runs alongside the road to watch the water holes that are still very endangered due to predation from escaped mink. Fortunately, they're now starting to recover and increase in population. They frantically feed along the water's edge and bank amongst the leaves that have already changed their autumn colours and fallen to the ground. The start of autumn is at least two to three weeks earlier this year. I travel along nearby lanes with signposts pointing to little villages. It is here I hope to find what I am looking for quintessential English lane and hedgerow is where to find autumn colours at its best. Rose hips from the dog rose. These can be made into medicinal syrup. The juxtaposition of the dark blue slowberry against the bright red hawthorn berry. We will use these to make lovely slow gin. Lime green wild hops. This thatched cottage and converted barn but onto the lane. A self-seeded apple tree can be seen growing up through the hedge. Strings of wild red currants hanging down to give the hedge a warm glow. A walk is then made along one of the many footpaths that lead from the lane to find our favourite autumn fruit, the blackberry. We pick these to make jams, pies, and my favorite, apple and blackberry crumble. Close by, we come across the strangely shaped pink fruits of the spindle tree. The wood was used in times gone by to make spindles to hold wool for spinning. Further along the lane, the ground rises and the landscape opens up as we approach the edge of the South Downs. Here we come across some brightly coloured late flowering plants, as well as the many different shades of brown from the dry grasses. The beautiful delicate blue flower of the late flowering wild chicory or succory. This is the best time of the year to see spiders. This one certainly enjoying the feast. The hedgerow here is full of wild clematis, commonly known as old man's beard or traveller's rest. It is said you can age a hedgerow by the number of plants it is made up of. These I have shown you here, like the castle at the start, are hundreds of years old. <laughs> 